Hello everyone, Alex Kolesin here and today I'm talking about the purpose of karate. Nowadays in the world of karate there is a certain confusion of individual concepts. On the one hand uh, the number of clubs uh, that practice only sport. On the other hand, uh, there is uh, a bunch of uh, books and articles of, about Bushido uh, that needs to be uh, read um, to truly understand the spiritual life of uh, martial arts. In this situation, uh, beginners and uh, quite advanced students are simply lost. As a result, there are, as always, most of the students uh, prefer doing just pure sport. The truth of this uh, problem uh, seems to me in the middle, or like I call it, the middle path. And so, what is uh, the middle path? Uh, this path begins within the dojo. Dojo is uh, the place of, of the path where we face the changes of our lives that is guided by nature and universe. We find our path by training in the dojo. The dojo is the place where we find our success and as well as fears, wishes, goals and habits. It is the place where we can understand who we are in this world in the short amount of time. A good dojo is a school, a training hall and temple. And the main purpose of the dojo is to train body and mind simultaneously. In Japanese the training is called Keiko. The ancient uh, master emphasized the four important uh, virtues of Keiko. It is courage, wisdom, uh, relationship and compassion. Courage comes first because we must to be strong and decisive enough to develop ourselves to practice karate. Wisdom acquired by meditation and in-depth study enables us to make reasonable decision and uh, maintain a correct point of view. When the practice is balanced, we start to feel love for the path and become absolutely loyal to it. At the highest level of uh, practice, we also start to feel uh, compassion for human being, along uh, with the hope that all other will follow the path. The main thing in the dojo is your inner spirit, in harmony, linked with your body and mind. As you comprehend this harmony, it extends on everything that you do. In other words, everything you learn in the dojo will be useful uh, to you in your work, study, sports and in relationships with other people. The point of training in the dojo is to get experience. Only through the experience of our own feelings we really gain wisdom. The only way to get experience is to train our body to overcome obstacles. There is an aphorism in Zen. The path cannot be studied. You need to experience it. At the beginning of study in the dojo, each student put on a white belt. And the students usually ask, how soon I will get a black belt? The only answer is that you cannot get a black belt while you're asking this question. When people obsessed with their ultimate goals, uh, they lose focus. They forget about reality. The only way to move along the path is to invest everything in the current step that is happening right now. One day those who do not spare time and effort will find that their belt is so worn and dirty that it is actually turned black. But the black belt is not the goal and the completion of the path. 
but only the milestone of it. The path requires from the black belt to redouble its efforts and train until the belt is warmed and gets molted till it loses its colors and turns white again. Only through the full circle from white to black, from black to white, students get the true experience of the path. Thank you for watching.